you know, it just goes to show you, I am not the only one with harebrained schemes. Jane is the OG. She is the original schemer coming up with this. I think that's fantastic. And who hasn't been um, in that situation where they see that doll for the first time and you're like, what, what is happening right now? Uh, like I'm shaking, I can't. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Okay, let's see, I'm recording, I'm live, I'm on three different screens, I got my hair done because it did not, it did not look this soft and fluffy when I woke up this morning. Anyway, welcome back everyone, hi. Uh, I am on Facebook again too, so if I'm looking over here, looking over there, I'm trying to make sure I see everybody's chats. Um, Crafty Kawaii Bear, hi, how are you? Okay, everything's working. Uh, so this segment is about uh, some of our vendors, and there are quite a few of them. I am starting with Victoria Fox Dolls, who does eye chips. She also does amazing little outfits and accessories. Um, so super talented lady. Charon Dolls, who as you know is, I don't even, don't even need to introduce Charon Dolls, she's amazing, but I'll check out her website because sometimes when I'm sad, I go to Charon's website anyway, just to look at those dolls. Uh, Mota del Algodon, I'm sure I just butchered that, but this is a clothing designer. Uh, Luisa is the um, creator of these amazing doll clothes for Pull-Up and Dow, uh, Blythe, other dolls I've seen on her Etsy. I will pull that up also. Um, Maury Yarns. So this was someone who I think I had heard of or I'd seen them vending somewhere and had never, it had just never connected for me. So because this was an exercise where I basically just shopped, I'm like, hey, does anybody want to be a, a virtual vendor? And people were like, yeah, I'll do it. I'm like, oh, good. I'll, I just started shopping. So I actually bought a few pieces <laughs> from Maury Yarns. She's been fabulous. Um, by the way, you should um, check out these sites because a lot of these vendors are, are actually putting up new items as we speak. So during this event, um, they're actually posting new outfits and I've seen lots of autumny colors, a couple of uh, Halloween style dresses and outfits. Um, so be sure to check that out. After, by the way, I get my act together and I've got some of these videos uploaded, I will save these to the channel and um, put links and uh, also a link to the vendor guide? Did I make one or a page? Uh, it's been a while. Uh, and then also Zincraft site. Zincraft site. And this one, I'm a little, I'm, I'm just a teeny bit sad because uh, this was a vendor who's in Poland. And for whatever reason, I have a little bit of hard luck or bad luck uh, with ordering things from Poland or sending things to Poland. They just take a lot longer. And I think right now, um, especially things are gonna take a lot longer. So that I think is the only piece that I bought, I think it was like a Wednesday Adams dress because I, I have like 10 myself. It didn't make it in time for this event. Uh, so those are the uh, vendors I wanna talk about. And I have for some of these, actually all of them except Zincraft site, something to show you as well. So I'll start with Victoria Dolls. I know that the quality of this video isn't nearly as good as my regular videos, Sorry, but um, I will show you what I've got uh, just in person because I think it's kind of nice to see the doll or the pieces um, just a little less, I don't know, own ownery, right? It's owner photos, owner video, and then actually go to the uh, website of some of these people. And I'd love to get your feedback. So if you have some of these, if you've purchased from these vendors, um, help me out here. I mean, I'd love to hear from you. So let's start with Victoria Fox. So actually, I have her web site up, I think. I did. Okay, let's try this again. Share screen here. <clears throat> 
All right, so here we go. If you can't see this, please tell me. So Victoria Fox does um, qu uh, quite a few things, but I would say that more than anything, she is known for her eye chips. Uh, I know that she does hand painted. She does, um, I think she also does a different kind that's a little less uh, taxing, but I'll tell you, ooh, are these new? Wow, oh my gosh, look at these. I think if I actually blow it up, you won't see it. I can't share it, but I will scroll down here. I have been a fan of these eye chips for quite some time because when you're in the US, it's it's hard to find vendors. I, you know, I have my handful of favorite vendors uh, and I'll cover them probably in another spotlight that do hand painted chips. I'm a huge fan of Pupilina who uh, just creates the most realistic eyes I've ever seen. But I have just personally this thing about um, hand painted chips, glittery, beautiful, sparkly chips. And Victoria just has so many of them. Uh, and I'd actually met her at BlytheCon Brooklyn and bought some, even though she didn't do chips for pull-up, you know, pull-up size at the time. She only had the uh, Blythe size chips. I thought, well, at some point, maybe I'll have a Blythe or something. This would be a reason to get it is, um, these chips start with the beautiful eyes, then get the $800 doll. Uh, so anyway, I did end up talking to her. Uh, I don't know how this happened, but I think she said that she was starting to offer 13 millimeter chips and maybe 12 too. And I jumped all over that. And then she sent them. And then I realized that she was using a chip that's a little pointy and um, and the and the pupils were a little bit small. So I think she's kind of changed over time and she's now got the flatter, just like the Blythe chip, the flat chip uh, that has the, um, they're, they're not quite a uh, 13 millimeter or they're, they're a little bit less. There's a teeny tiny gap, but I am nitpicking because these eye chips are incredible. I've probably bought six pairs now I mean uh, they are you know in the in the 13 to 20 dollar range but that's what I typically pay for hand-painted chips anyway I know that eye chips kind of vary and artists can price how they want but I'll tell you these are worth it these are they're beautiful chips so let me um just want to show you this so she is Victoria Fox dolls on Etsy Oh, she's got a deal. So spend some money, get a little bit off. Yay. So let me stop share this for a second. And then I'll actually, I have a couple of dolls that have her chips. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this terribly well, but um, let me grab one of my dolls. You. I'll start with you. You almost need a flashlight so you can see it in the light here. By the way, my mom made this bonnet dress, this little set. I'm dead. Oh yeah, you're not going to be able to see this. Oh, it's too bad because these eye chips are so pretty. Mm. Okay, well, I'll remember that for next spotlights. Right? Can you see it on there? You can kind of see it on a little bit on Facebook, but not really. It's too bad because these chips are like a rainbow color and they have these little zigzaggy things in it. Ooh. I wonder how I could show that. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. And I did have another girl who has, I'm gonna show her anyway, cause she's wearing this cute set from Maury Yarns. So anyway, that is the first one. Um, the first, I mean, the second vendor is Mota del Algodon. So let's pull her up. I'm trying to look at the chat too. I'm doing like four different things. Yeah, it says Mota. Actually, I could just go to my purchases. Oh my gosh, I'm looking back at my Etsy purchases. There's a lot of a lot of dark Animal Crossing purchases. I'm I'm 
I'm a little bit ashamed of. I kind of went crazy when you can, when I found out that you could buy stuff on Etsy and eBay, like rooms and flowers that you don't have. Is that a problem? Is it? Is it a bad thing? Okay. Oh my gosh, look at YouTube. Hi, everybody. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, so let me share. I have to go to Zoom for this. Oh my gosh. Share screen. Mota. Who doesn't love? Oh, thank you, Jane. Jane with the assist. Check out, you can check out over here and you can see the, the link for Victoria. All right, so Mota del Algodon. Uh, my goodness. I met Luisa a few years ago at Puddle, I think. I actually met her at Puddle. Uh, she was one of the vendors. She looks like a doll. She is this adorable brunette. And because she makes doll clothing, I think she was actually in this life-size doll outfit that was so cute and her personality matches. I mean, she's just, she's fabulous as a human. And I want to say that she had just moved uh, to the U.S. And because I remember seeing something like, oh, we're so lucky to have Louisa. And I was like, who is this Louisa? And then I saw her at Puddle. Oh my gosh. First of all, I think she wins awards for her con setup, like her displays are beautiful. They, you just feel like you're just, you're going to like this carnival of color and awesome. Uh, and I noticed that she had the chilling collection with um, what has to be Sabrina. That looks like uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, but look at these little outfits in the bag. One of the things I found very interesting about uh, Louisa is that she makes, she makes these adorable dresses, like right, Christmas vibes so cute, but she makes coats and jackets and pants. And my mom makes clothes. I know how hard this is. I can't imagine how difficult it is. Look at how cute this one is, black concept. Um, how difficult it is to make these tiny things, but in these fabrics that don't really give, you know, they, they're not forgiving. Uh, so, and I've seen her kind of change over the years but the raincoats are killing me. I, I don't, I've got to have one of those. If you're listening, Louisa. I'm just kidding. Uh, but I do have something that I just got from Louisa I wanted to show you. Um, just to back up a little. I'm so glad I wore my stitch pajamas, you guys. So whenever you get like my a little bit of a butt view, you're actually looking at my cute stitch pajamas. Come here. So I had this redhead that I did and I saw this dress that Louisa did. It's a set, came with the, the head piece as well. But this, you can see, I know you can see this. The eye chips were tough, but look at this. Look at the pleats in the skirt. And it's a, it's a firm material. But look at the sleeves, tiny little buttons. I like the detail on the sleeve right? How it kind of gathers here a little bit in the collar. I love this. I want to say this was either a set that she had planned for Puddle or it was a Blythe con. I just, I saw this and I love this blue. I love this kind of muted blue color. Anyway, this is how I make my custom dolls look good. I dress them up in the best stuff, best chips, best outfits. <laughs> There's a tip. There's a make it own tip for you. I actually did this wonderful uh, doll swap with uh, two of my friends here and I'm really proud of myself and then I realized it's kind of because of the outfit and the chips and all that and I'm taking credit anyway. I can put you back in the picture. By the way, the wall back here, the couple of dolls, those are my birthday presents. Did I mention that? Okay. Uh, all right, so this is Mota del Algodon. If you don't know her, and I'd be surprised if you didn't, please check her out. She's always got some fun stuff um, that she is selling. All right, so let me stop for a second and I will find the next vendor. All right, the next one is, I'm gonna save Charon for last because I love sharing this doll with everybody. But this one I'm super excited about, Mori Yarns. Yarns. 
So actually, I think More Yarns is selling on, it's not Etsy, on Facebook. Anybody remember? Instagram, I think. That's actually where I found, this is Belinda, who by the way is another amazing fairy creature. Oh my gosh. This is an easy one, you guys. If you're on Instagram, more yarns, more yarns. Okay, so let me go to Zoom, share screen, more yarns. Okay, so Belinda creates these, oh my gosh, so cute sets. These are uh, hats, um, scarves, uh, I think she does, there's another piece I think I see, oh, the headbands. And she kind of does that, she does some custom. So I'm not sure, um, and Belinda, if you're watching, chime in and I'll, I'll, I'll share the love. But what she did for me was, she said, well, what would you like? What style and what colors? And I usually kind of get paralyzed. <laughs> Somebody asks me, I'm like, I don't know, what do you think? You're the professional. Uh, but I said, I don't know, how about purple or some, right? I like earth tones. I'm, I'm all about the fall right now. And she was like, I got you. I got you. What styles, you know? So I, I kind of told her, I didn't know what I was getting. Honestly, I thought it's one thing to see a picture. It's another thing to put it on your own doll. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I looked through her photos. I loved the rich colors of these yarns. And I don't know a ton about yarns, but I'll tell you that I know, thanks mom, I know good stuff when I see it. And there was something about these greens and deep purples and maroons and oranges. It just, I mean like this doll right here, this whole outfit with the boots and it just gave me that fall feel that I'd so been ready for. Like I'm over summer and I love summer, but I was over it. I loved her photos. And I thought, am I in over my head? Did I just, did I pick right? I don't know if I picked right. Is it going to look good on my doll? I'm gonna show you here in a second. So anyway, if you're on Instagram, it is Maury Yarns. Looks like she's got a Facebook too. Oh, and then she's got her sales page too. Can we look at that? Oh, sales account. Okay, so look, she's got a sales account also. Oh my goodness, I want the cat ears. Belinda, I need a cat hat. Okay, so let me stop this for a second. Great. All right. Oh, look. I hope, Belinda, you are watching because you've got some fans, girl. Uh, let me pull up YouTube. I don't want to miss everybody here. Mm -mm. Okay. More yarns. You're not ready. First, I'm going to show you this. Oh my gosh, let me take her off the stand. It's worth it. And yes, mom, she has underwear on, if you're watching. Actually, my mom has not commented once. Am I in trouble? Okay, all right, so check this out. More yarns, look at the hat, look at the oatmeal. You see that? I'm going to pull over here too. Can you see that? Can you see the, the detail in that pattern? And then the matching little scarf with the button. I love the big oversized button. By the way, these eyes are Victoria Fox. What? Can you see those? I think these are lighter so you can kind of see them. It's too bad. You, the, the lighting of Zoom slash Facebook Live slash YouTube Live does not do justice to these eye chips. Oh, she's so cute. All right, I have one more. I have one more hat. I actually think this is the hat I picked out. Okay. I'm fine. I'm calm. Look at this. <laughs> this hat on this doll with this hair, right? It's everything. It's like a, a dark purple. And I was worried about it kind of clashing with her outfit, but 
seriously, you guys, tell me this doesn't just go. She's got her boots. This girl is missing a cappuccino and that's it. <laughs> She's missing a pumpkin spice latte. And that's it. Look at these, look at the little ears. Anyway, okay, I'm, I'll, I'm over it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm okay. All right. So that is more yarns, if you're interested. Instagram, I'm caught up here. Okay. All right, so what else we got? This is fun. I feel like I'm shopping with you guys. Hi, Christine. Belinda, you're here. By the way, Belinda, I saw your picture. Did not realize how adorable you are as a human. It makes sense now. You actually embody autumn. Does that make sense? I meant that as a compliment. I'm looking at chats all over. All right, so next up, sorry, um, is Zincraft site. So this one, like I said, I'm kind of sad because my little outfit didn't come, but I bet I can show you what I bought. She only had a couple of outfits up. Oh no, look at this. She actually loaded some stuff. Ooh, exciting. <gasps> what is that? All right, sorry, getting ahead of myself. So on, I have to do this on Zoom. You know, by the end of tomorrow, I'm sure I'll, I'll have my act together. Okay, let me move this over. Okay, so this is Zincraft site. And this is on Etsy, easy to find. You know how sometimes when you're looking for a shop, um, I have to type it in, like trying to find Mota del Alvedon. I don't even, I actually go to my purchases and find what I bought last for some reason, or I go to my favorites. I can't just do an easy search for some reason. I don't know, maybe I'm misspelling it. But Zincraft site, easy to find. Type it in, Google it, boom, it's there. And I've noticed that she does these amazing little dresses. I can't blow this up because you won't see it, but it had a little bit of um, a little dark feel to it, a little something extra, you know, not your usual just puffy princess stuff, which I love also. But then I saw these little shirts. Um, is that what I think it is? And they're $8.54? Yes, please. I'm going to need some of those. And then skirts and stuff. But I mean, I want to see more pictures of this doll and these sweatshirts. So like I said, she just, what I love is that she's got a little bit of this kind of darky, dark feel, but um, it's still cute. Still kind of girl next door, goth girl next door. Um, but let me stop it just for a second. Let me see if I can find what I bought because maybe I can get a picture of it. Just scroll past all my um, Animal Crossing purchases. I never take credit for it, by the way. I don't, I'm not like, oh yeah, I totally harvested all of that. Oh, shoot. Should I not have bought it? Wednesday Adam dress for pull-up and dowels. Yeah, I can't link to it. Oh, that's such a bummer. It's such a cute little dress. Well, let's see, maybe I can just share this page. It's such a tiny photo though. This is the only one. Curses. So anyway, it's right here. This little dress I am waiting on and I, I can see there's a little collar. I can see the buttons. I love me a Wednesday Adams dress. So hopefully the last time I tracked it, it was um, September 3rd. So hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, and let's see, the last one is, last but certainly not least, is Charon Dolls. It's worth visiting the website together, you guys, it is. Hi, let's see. Charon Dolls. All right, let's go to the website first. Share screen. I know you can't see this on Facebook, but follow along. Oh, thank you, Anya. All right. If you're on YouTube and you can see this, hello, my goodness. Who did your website you're on? Please do mine. The pictures, the dolls, stunning. 
and uh, I've known her for a few years. It's interesting is I think that um, Charan and I have met in several different continents. I've seen her in London. I met her in Italy, Japan. <laughs> oh my gosh, in LA, in LA, girl. We're international buddies. So I've actually met her in person in four different cities in four different countries. That's kind of cool. And she is always as amazing as you think she is. She's, she's so humble and she shouldn't be. She should be like, I am the greatest of all time. I'm the goat. Um, but I met her, she was collecting pull-up. She was starting to customize them. And fast forward to, she's doing Blythe's. I know that she was vending at BlytheCon and she had a handful of dolls there and they were all adorable. Every one of her dolls, even though they are different, right? And she does custom dolls. She did one for me. She does custom dolls uh, that fit. She does commissions too. I'm not sure if she still does, but she sells them. And she will also do um, a custom for you, right? She'll just say, what would you like? A commission, whatever. Every single one of her dolls feels like it's a little bit of her. If you've met her, if you've, if you've been lucky enough to meet her, every one of these dolls captures a tiny bit of her magic. And that's kind of hard to um, explain. But uh, let me, let's look at the Blythe really quick. So her Blythe's are the same way. I feel like, you know, I'm not a big, um, I'm not a big Blythe uh, collector yet. Actually, I don't have one yet, but someday, Someday, I'm, I've got a couple I'm looking at, uh, but I still feel like these dolls, look at her Coraline, look at that eyebrow. I mean, how far she's come from where she started is amazing. She is always the example that I use of someone who thought, oh, you know, what? I'll just give this a try to really being uh, a standout artist doing this over just a few years. Look at Dot, oh, those eye chips. This, I think, is incredible. So imagine you are an artist and you're customizing dolls and you get in your head the ultimate of harebrained schemes, which is, I'm gonna make my own doll, my own head sculpt. I'm, I'm going to fashion it in some character. I'm going to collaborate with other artists to create outfits and uh, and that's what she's done. I actually saw someone had just posted in the Facebook group. Uh, this is Charon Dolls, Lily, who is chatting here. Charon Dolls. Uh, I saw someone who had an who had an owner photo of Bon Bon, because I hadn't seen any owner photos yet. And uh, just insane what she's done. I remember her. If you if you haven't signed up for Charon Dolls, she has a newsletter. She has a very awesome newsletter. She'll tell you when things are available or when things are for pre-order. Um, but she kind of walked us through the process of, um, you know, creating the face, right? And then the different looks of the faces. The eyebrows were up here. They were a little bit this. They were what the eyes look like. So just drawing the sculpt of this doll, you got to see her creation come to life. So if you've known her, like I have for the past few years, you know that she kind of took us along for this journey with her. And it's been very exciting to see this. So I feel like when she did finally release her first doll, it's like a win for all of us, right? Anyway, so if you have not yet signed up for Charon Dolls, I would do so. Uh, and you can always, she she's pretty prolific. So she's putting out full custom pull-ups, uh, I know sometimes she does Blythe's and then you can always order her or pre-order uh, her latest original doll if uh, she has one available. Maybe I'll stop this. And are we still, everything's going on YouTube? I'm gonna go really quick here through the YouTube comments. Oh, Christine, was that your photo? 
Hi guys, look at you. Oh my gosh. Can I just tell you how awesome it is to see everybody on Facebook Live and on YouTube Live? I was really nervous five minutes before I went live. Like I went to grab some water, my hands were shaking and I'm not usually nervous. I mean, I'm in my pajamas for crying out loud. How, how nervous can I be? Anyway, I hope you guys, let me just make sure that I, I didn't forget anyone, right? Victoria Fox, Mota de Agadon, Mori Yarn, Zen Craft Site, Chogran Dolls. Yes, so that's who I was going to cover in this Around the World Spotlight. I am going to post this video, actually this one on Facebook, this one on YouTube, and I will put links to all of these fantastic vendors because they're worth checking out. It's always fun to find if you're not familiar with them, um, new shops to check out and shop. And then for the next few hours, I'm going to be uploading some of the videos that I recorded over the past couple of weeks with some of the vendors. I'm so excited. Some of these are so fun. They're all fun. But I've just had a blast doing this. I hope so far you are um, enjoying this virtual a con is a stretch. It's not exactly a con. It's more like a, a weekend doll chat, but there are prizes. That helps and there were contests. So anyway, all right, anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and I will say goodbye here on Facebook. We'll be back in a few hours and I will sign off also from YouTube. So thanks guys.